Hey everybody, um, this is Daryl Leary again, and um, I'm actually doing this video inspired by a friend uh, on Facebook. Her, her name's Michelle. I won't say her last name. It's, uh, you should probably find that too awkward. Anyways, we're virtual friends, but I like to think we're friends because she always likes to really digs all the stuff I do on YouTube and you know all the crazy stuff I'm up to you know whether it's insane or you know really cool or whatever anyways uh, she's been feeling down on her you on Facebook there you know feeling really lonely in that and uh, I was just gonna little talk a little bit about that and uh, if this video in any way helps you deal with loneliness then um, give the credit to Michelle so, because uh, she's the inspiration behind this video, and anyway, she's really one of the coolest people on Facebook, you know. Uh, and uh, you know, this, seriously, there's got to be more people like her in the world. I mean, I really wish it was, you know. Um, but anyway, so this is going to talk about loneliness and. Uh, just touch briefly on what I've gone through in my life. In my own life, years and years and years ago, I remember I literally felt like the ugliest person in the world. Like, there was no contest. Seriously, this was way back in the mid-90s, actually. So, um, I mean, it was just such a horrible feeling. Uh, in my perception, I mean, everybody else was liked or loved by somebody. Um, just not me you know um, and it didn't even matter if other people you know like I even saw homeless people I even saw bad people that see, still seem to have someone that seemed to love them and this type of thing you know and and uh, yeah I just felt horrible 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 um, but what really helped me um, was now this is going to sound crazy but it was embracing the loneliness now I know people I, I believe that subconsciously people when they feel lonely you know um, they they subconsciously try to push away from that feeling from that emotion you know it's something they don't want to feel they try to remedy remedy it you know, by throwing something that will bring them some kind of comfort within their own life and this type of thing. I took the opposite approach. Um, I just decided one day, you know, I said to myself, okay, so I am the loneliest bastard on the planet. And, and that was it, you know. And then um, I just, I just allowed myself to to feel as lonely as I felt, you know, I just, I just let the feelings just run right through me, you know, and, and then I even pushed myself to, uh, even feel more of that loneliness, and, um, I mean, I was pretty bad, I used to go to dances with my friends at times, and, uh, I just sit there at the table crying, throughout the whole dance and I felt even worse because it didn't seem like anyone even cared you know uh, <laughs> and so yeah, you know and eventually I started telling people you know I'm like the loneliest bastard on the planet you know and so you know and people would say oh uh, <laughs> people would be shocked and I was like uh, really like well uh, uh, some didn't know what to think of that, some uh, others would be like, well, that can't be good, and I'd be like, oh, God, it's awful, you know, but as time went on, um, and I keep telling people that, uh, I, 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 I would start saying, you know what, yeah, it kind of sucks, but it's not that bad, and then as more time went on, you know, it'd be like, you know, it's really not too bad actually you know I mean sure there's things I want in my life but I don't have them so what are you gonna do right you know 
Uh, so, so I mean, that's it, right? Um, but as an effect of that, what I also noticed, you know, about embracing my loneliness and all those ugly, yucky feelings is that as time went on and as like, you know, a couple years after and I was in, uh, you know, a short relationship or whatever and, and I felt, you know, got dumped or whatever and felt like shit again, um, it wasn't that bad because it didn't even markedly make a difference in comparison to to how I had originally felt because I had allowed myself to feel the worst of the worst of the worst of, of emotions, right? So it was like, yeah, this feels really fucking awful, but you know what? I've suffered through a lot worse, so whatever right and uh and now i just have the mentality that you know it's like if i had to be alone again then uh you know um so be it like whatever you know um so anyways um uh, it's 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 not like i'm i'm uh saying well you know, welcome to your new life of loneliness. I'm not saying that at all. You know, I'm just saying that uh, some feelings are meant to be explored and, um, you know, meant to be felt. And, uh, anyways, so, so I hope this helps other lonely people because it does get better. Yeah? Um, it gets better with time for sure. So, anyways, um, I know you all don't know my friend Michelle, because this is on my YouTube channel, you know, but maybe, just maybe, yeah, you could say a nice little thing for her and put it in the comments below. I know she'd, she'd love you for it, so she's a really cool person, anyways. And like I said, there has to be more people like her. There just has to be, you know. Seriously. Um, so, so say something nice on behalf of her. Put it down in the comments, whether you know her or not. Okay. You're just helping to know another human being. Okay. We don't all have to know each other to, to say something nice, you know, when we know there's another human being in need. All right. So, that's it. I've spoken too long. I'm too much of a slow thinker. Cheers, y'all, and Michelle, this, this video is for you. Remember, if this video helped you out, give Michelle credit. Cheers, Daryl Leary.